I'm returning to Chichester to see Ollie, the first guy I met. Hi, yeah. I'm good, how are you? Good, very good. We're at his old school to do something to redress the homophobia he suffered you. What's it feel like for you then to be back here in your old school? Um, it's, quite, it's quite a strange experience. Um, you know, last time I walked these halls, it was, you know, I was a completely different person. It's definitely painful, brings back painful memories. We're back for a positive reason. Siran Dixon's with us. She's an expert in running workshops tackling homophobic bullying. And I think you know a little bit about why we're here to talk to you today, but we've come from this organisation here called Diversity Role Models. The workshop challenges the language kids use in school and the stereotypes they have for gay people. I want you to write down on those pieces of paper how you think you can tell if a man is gay. Now we are talking about the stereotypes of lesbians. How can you tell if a woman is a lesbian? <laughs> the next thing you need to do, you're going to write down words that you hear that uh, describe a gay man, the words that you hear that you probably shouldn't say. And now I want you to write down all the words that we don't encourage you to use to describe lesbians, please. Right, I'm going to stick these on, Gareth. <laughs> and I'm going to stick these on me. The reason we do this is to really get you to think about stereotypes. So, Gareth is a gay man and I'm a lesbian. These are the words that are used to describe us. Do they fit me? No. Do they fit Gareth? No. OK, does anybody want to put their hand up and tell me how you felt uh, writing those words down and actually doing that activity? You feel a bit rude because for knowing those kinds of words, mm -hmm. you like, feel like you shouldn't know them. How do you know them? You hear people do say them mm -hmm. in, like, the playground. The last exercise confronts a problem I hear all the time. Using the word gay as an insult shouldn't be offensive to gay people. We totally agree with that, that it shouldn't be offensive, you're at that end. If you think it should be offensive or could be offensive, you're at that end. So let's have some people in the middle who I heard some conversations going on. You weren't too sure about what you thought on this one. Yeah. Um, I think really that it's just one of those words that kind of just slips out. Like mm -hmm. you don't mean to say it, you just go, oh, that's just so gay. Yep. Like, is in the way that you would swear. Mm -hmm. The word's often used as like a substitute for another worse word. Like, if something's not working or it's broken or it's wrong. Mm. And that kind of makes you think it associates gay with being wrong. Mm. It is offensive because it's putting the person down. How do you think if that would impact on me if I heard you talking and saying the word gay for something negative? I think that it probably makes you not want to tell anyone ever because it makes you feel like being gay is a bad thing. <laughs> So how have you felt about the session? Is it what you thought it was going to be? And... I think it was quite different to what I was expecting. Um, and when we were out at break, uh, I actually heard someone say something homophobic. And I was just kind of like, well, why are you saying that? Because you don't need to say it. And um, there's nothing wrong with being gay. And Ollie, I wonder how it makes you feel hearing this now, because you've, you know, obviously you've got a difficult time at school, and now you're hearing students from your own school talk about this in such a positive way. Yeah. If the attitude was the same probably back, you know, when I was at school, it would have, um, yeah, it would have been a different experience. Completely. If you'd sat in a workshop like this, feeling like you did, how might it have changed the way you felt? Um, I, yeah, it would have helped majorly. I hope that you've all learned a lot today and you take this away with you. Don't forget it because it can make somebody else's life a lot better.